Good morning, students. This is all about Black Smithy shop. Black Smithy, as the name indicates, black means the color is black. Of which thing the color is black? It is of the work piece. The work piece is made of white steel. I told you in fitting shop, machine shop, welding, and Black Smithy, the work piece is made of mild steel. Because of carbon content inside the mild steel, the color is black. The iron and steel are in black color. Mild steel and iron are of black color because of carbon percentage content in these materials. In black smithy, we are changing the shape of work piece. By heat treatment means we are heating the work piece, then we are changing the shape of that work piece by using different tools. So this is our furnace, oil fired furnace, in which we are pouring diesel from here. You will see in the practical which is being prepared after this, the demo practical, in which this is the tank for storing the diesel. Here we are powering the diesel, then we put a flame inside this and start, then it is working. We heat the work, we keep the work piece inside this furnace and then the work piece is being heated up to a red hot temperature. The color of work piece becomes red when it is heated up to certain level. This is a motor which is, which is rotating the fan which is intruding the air inside this because the fire requires oxygen as well as the temperature. So, the workpiece is made of mild steel. We keep the workpiece which is being hot in a red color. Like this is the raw material. We can change the shape from square. This is of square cross section. We can change into circular or round or from round to square. Easier one is round to square. So in your courses, round to square. We are changing a round bar or a round shape into a square shape. We keep this on this angle and that we hold the workpiece with the help of these tongs. These tongs we hold it because it is very red hot. We keep it inside the furnace with the help of these stones and we take out the workpiece from the furnace with the help of this stone. We hold it over here at anvil, then we apply force with the help of this hammer. This hammer is known as sledgehammer double face. Why double face? From both sides we can apply force from both sides of this face. This portion is known as head. This portion which is being hold in the hand made of wood is known as handle. We apply the force with the head. This sledgehammer starts from the weight of 5 kg. When we require to apply more force and we are changing the shape then we are using sledgehammer. We don't apply force directly with the help of sledgehammer. We use flatter also. We keep the flatter on the workpiece then we apply force. This is known as flatter because the surface of this tool is flat. You are saying this is flat. This is known as flatter. We keep it on the workpiece then we apply force at the top end of this flatter. Then we change the, the shape of this. This equipment is known as anvil. Another equipment also used for this is suede block. Then we are changing the shape and we have to check it whether the roundness or the squareness or the rectangle shape has been got or not, then we put that workpiece inside these holes, these shapes are there of different cross sections. This is a round one, this is also a round one of different diameters. These are rectangles and these are squares. This equipment is known as sewage block. Tongs are of many types depending on their face, open mouth, closed mouth, flat and round. Here we are having the chart over here with leg split tongs. These are the tongs. V mouth, the mouth, the front surface, front edge in which we are holding the workpiece is known as mouth. 
depending on the shape of mouth these are known as open mouth or closed mouth v shape square shape round shape these are different types of tongs we are using flat hammer flatter and will swivel block for changing the shape of one piece from square to circular round or round to square the furnaces are of different types oil fired cupola furnaces fuel fired and different types of uh, steel mills we are using furnaces this is a prototype of those steel mills here we are using oil fired furnace that's so this is our work piece it is in it would be in a, a circular cross section area and cylindrical in shape all we will have to do we will be changing its cross section area to the square one with uh, our blacksmithy processes we will raise the temperature of our work piece and then with the help of external force we will change it now we are pouring the diesel into our furnace tank as a fuel and uh, here with the help of a funnel we are just pouring fuel into the fuel tank and afterwards we will ignite it so here the fuel has been filled these are our tools pla placed over the anvil the swage block the beak iron tongs and uh, flatters chisel and hammers and the anvil again you would have probably seen it in the tom and jerry show maybe <laughs> so uh, let us turn on the power connection which is used to to turn on the blower blower is very uh, is used so that the oxygen content the requirement of air to ignite the fuel can be done easily it fulfills the requirement of oxygen so now here we are igniting the torch so that the torch may ignite the furnace this is a normal torch in which cotton cloth is being used and it is dipped in the diesel itself and then what we will be doing yeah just adjusting the pressure knob of the fuel so that the concentration of fuel can be adjusted okay i think uh, uh, the furnace has been ignited okay you can see the flame the size of the flame you know with the help of air which is drawn from the blower the fuel can, uh, can easily be burnt without air fuel cannot burn easily with the use of excess air the pressure of air the fuel is burned uh, is can be burned easily so these are the work pieces we are keeping it with the help of tong tongs we, are, we will be just <coughs> placing it like this you can see afterwards when the temperature will be raised we will be using it we will be processing it over the anvil some more bars temperature of furnace is very very hot so safety is the priority during the practical this is the regular uh, pressure knob which is used to adjust the concentration of the fuel and the air this is our furnace and uh, the blower this is the rotating turbine uh, rotating part of blower
now once the temperature has been raised so the concentration of the fuel can be minimized in order to get this temperature keeping in mind the safety you must have worn all the gear safety precaution gears and this is how with the help of tongs we will be holding our workpiece it is nice red hot we must uh, flatter is kept over it tongue is kept the workpiece and this is the sledgehammer which will strike the flatter to make it flat the workpiece is a circular in cross section area we are fl uh, somehow flattening it with some force drawn from the sledgehammer targeted by the flatter placed over the anvil Ho held with tongue this is the circular tongue You can see how the workpiece is processed. The sledgehammer is of 15 kgs, so it must be very, very carefully handled. You can see the light of the workpiece is diminishing as the temperature is lowering. This is another workpiece. Again, the workpiece is drawn from the furnace. Nice, red hot. One by one the workpiece will be drawn and then carried out in the workpiece in the furnace. Now as you can see as I told you that the weight of the hammer is 15 kg so there is a specific technique how can you strike with such a heavy tool. You can see first of all the head is kept held close with one hand and then it is striped with both the hands from the far most end. You can see the circular cross section area workpiece is changing its cross section up to a very close extent. Again it is kept inside the furnace and the other workpiece will be drawn out of it. Another workpiece will be carried out and then uh, work will be done one by one. You can see the hot flakes are coming out so safety and precaution cannot be compromised anyhow you can see the now we are changing the side so that it could be made proper straight shape flatter is in every blow it is it must be kept a bit far away from the workpiece so that it could not be joined by it in the hot state. Now 
the operators are changing their positions another work piece is drawn alternatively the leather, leather gloves will be used in this you can see the flakes the hot flakes are coming outside you can see how much safety is required during this operation although with, with the skills and training all the work this work cannot be that tough but safety is required from the very starting very beginning point Now the side will be turned and another side will be carried outwards. Again, a work, new workpiece will be drawn out and the processing will be done again and again. Before industrial revolution, the nails were made by him with the blacksmithy shop. Nails which are used in either construction of homes, houses, in which the nails were required to to join the wooden pieces, wooden locks, I would I must say. Yeah, it is very heavy work piece. So a bit of cheer, a cheerful moment while the work is done. Yeah, we must be positive during such a hard work piece, and another hot work piece is coming out of the furnace. Yeah, this time the flakes are very hot. These are the very hot, very powerful blows. Yeah, you can see the square cross section area is visible now. You can see in older times, swords were made, made like this, weapons were made like this, you know, the wheels were also made by these automobiles were made by this so many processes were made in such a very manner these are all our workplace kept inside the furnace very hot 
this is how the work piece is has to be taken out of the furnace and then further work is done in over the anvil you can see the this workpiece is getting the shape of a chisel its head is uh, becoming beveled a bit and afterwards we can give it a finer shape a sharp edge can also be given through it another work piece of comparatively less length yeah. every after every blow of hammer flatter must be kept in with some distance apart from the work piece with heat metal can be joined together that is why like you can see in every blow Flatter must be kept a bit distinct from the workpiece. Yes, this workpiece is uh, been given the shape of a chisel. Its one side is being given this sharp edge. You can see the flakes which is came out of this workpiece. Very fine shape has been given. Yeah. If it is curved from some area, it can be uh, corrected. Again, another work piece. Its squareness will be improved. You can see now its shape is more like a square. Square bar now. Hot flakes are coming very harshly. You can see all the blows very you know very near contact. But believe me, this is very tough job with the precautions. It can be learnt easily. The aim of this practical is to understand the hardship of a worker or, a, or an operator so that a student may know how much efforts are required in such a such tasks in manufacturing. In industries such works are carried out every day. You can now see the edge of square bar can be seen very easily and the square shape has been given very very perfectly this was a circular workpiece earlier and now it is a square cross section area after the operation 
you can see the other other side of this workpiece which is uh, still uh, circular but the other but the majority of the portion is having square cross section area this is another workpiece which is, which must be given this square shape You can check, you can see the difference between both the work pieces. It is very interesting to see how the work piece is being transformed in front of you. You can see there is a temperature difference which can be seen from the color itself. This is another hot work piece. It will be given shape. This is the work piece I will show you. You can see the square cross section area very easily. Well, uh, but the surface must be finished afterwards. Yeah, over this beak iron, you can see the task of beak iron, why the beak iron is being used. The hook type shield is, is being given over here. This type of work pieces are also made with this. In earlier times, the chains used for tying up the kettles for the kettle farmers was made with this blacksmith shop itself because before industrial revolution, such chains cannot be made without any blacksmith. The chains, the you know household items, support and support mechanisms all were all these types of things were moved by blacksmiths i think captain hook would also require the help of a blacksmith for making his hook yeah the chisel shape workpiece is also very good looking now and uh, it is in its final stage I think you know when the striking is done the crystals came come closer and the strength of our workpiece becomes higher again it is its temperature is raised in the furnace and now it will be given the final shape it, its neck is formed now it is going it is going to be flattened Now, this process, if you would see, this is this process is known as quenching. Here, the rapid cooling has been done, and uh, with this rapid cooling, the surface becomes hard, and inside the uh, and the core becomes soft comparatively with the surface with the rapid cooling, which is known as quenching. This process is very useful so that the sur surface could, be could become harder. 
afterwards the polishing or the finishing can be done after the blacksmithy operation but here the blacksmithy operation is done so these are the work pieces of previous year students how uh, they transformed their selves themselves the uh, work pieces into such finished work pieces and these work pieces are have been prepared in front of you in this video tutorial another work piece has been processed yeah the final work piece of that hook shape you know it's one end is must be tapered so that it could pierce some any surface like uh, ground like wall anything it is used for piercing After another, after another couple of blows, it becomes in such a tapered shape. You can see another similar work piece which is prepared just within this work piece. These are very useful work pieces used in earlier days for constructing house. Very good example of blacksmithy this is the square cross section area of a smaller length for piece its length is very very smaller but you can see how we can prepare it now the quenching will be done for this work piece Yes, the vapor can be seen. It's very hot, believe me. Still, it is also very hot. More than 100 degrees. But afterwards, it will be cooled. Now it is, it, it can be hold with hand. No, 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 it is still hotter. The tongue is hotter right now. You can see the workpiece. This side, it, it's one end is circular cross section area. Enjoy it. Thank you and have a nice day.